In this video, I will show you how to use the RSS feed in N8M. So let's review firstly the documentation. Uh, so this is a pretty basic node. You have only one parameter to fill, that is the URL. So basically you just enter the URL uh, for the RSS publication you want to read. Uh, so let's go back on N8N. So I created this workflow so you can understand how this node is working. So basically uh, you have a trigger, for example, it could be every day. Here we have an edit field uh, node where you will create an array, so a list, and you will enter here each uh, RSS URLs uh, from the blog you want to extract new articles. So here we have uh, two blogs here, as you can see. After this, uh, we will split out every URL in single items. So we don't want uh, a full array like this, but we want one item for each URL. Uh, so as you can see, the field to split out is URLs and we want no other fields. So as you can see on the right side, we have two items instead of one. Then we do uh, a loop over item. So we want to execute uh, a process on each item. So the batch size is uh, one. And as you can see in the first loop, we have the first URL and in the second loop, we have the second URL. Then uh, during the loop, this is where we'll use uh, the RSS feed. So you just take the URL from uh, the loop module and you slide it here. And as you can see on the right side, we have uh, 12 items. So 12 new articles with title, link, publication date and content. So this is what we wanted. After this, uh, you can do whatever you want. You can add an if note to see if it was published recently or no. Then you can extract content and summarize it. So you do uh, whatever you want here. So this was a workflow to extract multiple RSS feeds, but you can also, if you just uh, track one, what you can do is use uh, just the RSS trigger like here. Uh, let me just move it here. And instead of having uh, all of these nodes, you can just use this one. Uh, let me open it. And you can select uh, a mode, so every minute, every hour, etc., etc. You can custom it. And you enter your uh, RSS feed link. But the thing is, you have to remember, if you want to extract content from multiple uh, sources here, you have to have multiple automation because this allow you to extract only from one uh, RSS URL if you use the trigger. But basically it's also the case for this node, but because we use a split out and a loop over item, you can enter infinite number of uh, RSS links. Let me show you also fastly how to uh, find the RSS links uh, in websites. So if this is a WordPress website, you just have to add at the end uh, slash feed slash. Uh, you can also find sometimes uh, the RSS logo, you just click on it. Or sometimes in the footer, you will find uh, a link to the RSS uh, URL. So I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any question regarding the RSS feed. Thank you for watching.